けんだまを知ってますか Do you know けんだま Who's Ken? Hello, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com, and apparently I am pretty bad at Kendama. Get rid of it. Language translated in your head from your native language to another language generally ends up sounding awkward and strange. But sometimes these awkward and strange. Mental translations actually make it to the pages of the textbooks and the materials that we use for teaching. Go back many, many, many years, and I, Julian, your beloved host, used to teach in a primary school here in Japan. I used to do English classes as what they call an ALT, an assistant language teacher. And we had this、uh, textbook that we had to use. And one of the key sentences we had to teach in there was, Do you know Kendama? Of course, it was referring to this, the traditional Japanese toy, a Kendama, which I am pretty damn useless at. In Japanese, that would be said as, Kendama o s h i t e m a s u ka? Which in Japanese is, you know, per- makes perfect sense. Kendama o s h i t e m a s u ka? Kendama, particle o. Do you know? In English, however, if you say, Do you know Ken Dama? Everybody is going to respond by saying, No, who's Ken? A friend of yours? It just doesn't translate into English well. We don't associate the name Ken Dama with a thing. We just hear the word Ken and associate it with a person. So we think, Who's that? You'd have to say something like, Do you know what a Ken Dama is? To make clear by the fact that you've used what a Refers to a thing and not a person. There are really two points here that I want to make. The first is the language that you study, the materials that you use, matters. If you are studying materials that are giving you flawed input, then your output is going to be flawed as well. This is going to cause confusion and it's going to end up. With you having to think even more in your head about what you are saying. You need to be learning the correct, natural sounding chunks of English in the first place so that you can then just pull those out of memory and use them as is to speak fluently and naturally in the same way as a native speaker does. And the second point that I want to make is that you can't think of English. In terms of your own native language. The person who wrote that textbook obviously thought of what they wanted to say in Japanese first and just translated that into English. It doesn't work. It's very, very, very rare that something that you have thought of in Japanese first or thought of in your native language first will come out sounding natural because the way we think is completely different. Different cultures have very different ways of thinking about the world. Therefore, we have very different ways of describing the world. Different culture, different language, different way of saying things. If you are translating everything in your head into English, then you're not going to get very far as far as speaking natural sounding English is concerned. But don't worry, I am here to help. Think English, speak English. How to stop performing mental gymnastics every time you speak English. This is my new book, only available on Kindle. If you've got Kindle Unlimited, it's free to read. If you haven't, it costs like £2.99 or something like that, depending on where you live. This bad boy will show you step by step why you translate everything in your head and then show you how to stop doing it, how to break that bad habit. Of course, including things like Do you know Kendama in the textbooks is all part of the Japanese Ministry of Education's movement towards teaching Japanese people how to talk about and explain Japanese culture in English. It's all part of the Cool Japan campaign. Spreading Japanese culture overseas. And I think it's great.、Uh, it's 
as a marketing movement. It's a brilliant move on the, uh, the part of the Japanese government. And that is really what the English education is being used for at the moment, explaining Japanese culture to people overseas to basically market the country.、Um, nothing wrong with that, of course. Just、um, it's a shame they can't <laughs> do it in proper, natural sounding English. I really cannot do this. Oh, I almost got it.